<coughs> Hello everyone and welcome to a whole new Rohawk which has um, a lot of cracked voices happening because he is very sick. Now I am doing this not because of that, I'm doing this because I want to test out how a certain recording program works and it, it, it has a very high potential to be my preferred program for ed uh, for um, rendering and recording game related videos which should be awesome it's called um, action it's made by I actually do not know who it is made by but but um what it basically does it records desktop environments God damn, I'm so sick. Game environments and um, screen regions. You can select your own screen region to record if you so desire. And um, yeah, the purpose of if this video is just to test the general quality of the render and to compare it. Be to compare it with uh, the Sony Vegas render process and how Fraps records. How this program works? Well, basically, it's just like Fraps, it, it, it uh, detects your game and and it records it. It records it in uh, its own kind of kind of format it's a unique format which only it can rec recognize and um, then after you are done recording you can put the uh, you can set the program to render what it has recorded into a very compact video file M mp4 preferably and it should look and sound the same as if you were to render and record using Sony Vegas and Fraps. I don't know I don't know if I said the same things like a bunch of times but um hopefully I explained what the pr that what this program basically does and yes this is Tribes Ascend with live commentary. I am doing live commentary right now and um obviously I suck at sniping actually I don't suck at sniping I'm I'm personally one of the best snipers I've seen me myself I mean and yeah we will play a whole match of tribes ascend and see how we do with live commentary I never I've tried it once but I I swear I hit him I tried it once but um, it didn't work quite well because it was actually the first time I played tribes ascend when I sucked very 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 much and now I don't suck that much and actually in the beginning you cannot play as any class you can play only Pathfinder, Soldier and I think Juggernaut so I had to unlock by using experience which you gain by playing you, I have to I had to unlock the uh, Sentinel the sniper guy what the hell died Man. You little piece of shit, medium, medium armored, hostile. Right, we need to kill the flag capper. Uh, and another thing which is extremely awesome about this uh, recording program, you can actually play games at full FPS even when recording at 30 FPS with the program. So. Let's say your game usually runs at 60 FPS continuous, no problem. But ow, ow. But um, when recording with Fraps, the FPS suddenly plummets because it requires a lot of processing power and hard drive writing speeds. God damn it! I don't have any ammo anymore. I I kind of want to kill. Okay, never mind. Ooh, nice. Thanks for the supply thingy. Hopefully I take it before I die. Alright, good. Ah, crap, there's a sniper right there. Die, you little cunt sniper. I'm better than you. Alright, I, I need to take care uh, about a bunch of shit over here. He, he would have been mine. 
Why am I recording? Uh, okay, let's take care of the sniper. Where is he? Launch, shoot. I guess he's not gonna shoot. Anyway, where was I? Yes, you you can. Um, Fraps, Fraps requires a lot of disk space, disk writing speeds, and processing power to use if you want to do it at 1080p, for example. But this program can record at 30 FPS without much processing power required. Or maybe it, it actually requires more. I'm not sure about that, so don't uh, take my word on it. But if you have a processor, let's say, in the category of the Intel 2500K, then you should be pretty much set. In my opinion, because it's as good as my AMD 1100T. So yeah, if you have uh, something al along those lines, you are very good with the program. And they are not expensive at all. Um, so yeah, I record at 30 FPS, but the game, the game FPS still remains as high as it can possibly go, uh, giving your processing power and all that great stuff. And the file format it uses, I think it, I think it is uh, FIC thick. Uh, not not 100% on that, but it's something with F. I don't care. Uh, that's not important. Yeah, the file format is very small in size compared to Fraps. You can record hours and hours and hours at end at any FPS, and you will still have like loads, loads of space left. Unlike Fraps, which takes like four gigabytes in one minute if you record at full HD 30 frames per second so Fraps is a very space eating monster compared to this which as far as I've noticed has the same quality uh, as the combination between Fraps and Sony Vegas so that's the purpose of this video to see exactly what the difference would be in a real situation, real gaming situation where you move around with a camera a lot and switching angles and a lot is happening on the screen now yes I am playing the game at minimal that is because the game is general this game is generally very very pretentious and it's bullshitty in that regard it, uh, I mean it looks great even at minimal but I need the extra FPS especially for sniping so don't blame me on that if I would play at maximum graphics then I wouldn't gain 60 FPS even if my even if in my wildest dreams because this environment is very huge and you have to see all that is happening on the map even on the other side of it so I guess that that is generally why why this is so pretentious and yeah um, very good program very 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 good it can actually totally replace anything you have currently if uh, you know how to use it for example let's let's say um, you wanna do a montage of a game but Okay, that guy shall die. You, you have to do a montage of a game. And you need a lot of content from which to select all the different parts of gameplay to then put together in a, mo in a montage. If you record with fraps, you either should have like the biggest hard drive ever for that or like... Uh, yeah, the biggest hard drive ever. And then either you won't run out of space because you have the biggest hard drive ever. Either what the hell? Why are you shooting me? Uh, what? Okay. Uh, either you will render every important footage you have with some kind of an editing program so that you can delete the raw fraps files to gain more space to record more and that is a complete waste of time because usually while rendering videos you cannot play games 
takes a lot of processing power and stuff like that. Uh, or is and yeah, instead of that, you could use this program, which is basically, as I've said, records uh, the in-game footage in a very small uh, file size, and then it, uh, after you've done recording, it, it has its own uh, format, which it you can see in the program menu, and you tell it to just r render render what you have uh, recorded and the rendering time is actually under the length of the actual video so let's say with my current processor even if it's overclocked I can um, render Vegas videos 30 FPS full HD in all um, the time it requires for videos to render at that those settings uh, is actually four times at least four times the length of the actual video you are rendering and if you're rendering videos with this program which records as well it takes under the actual length of the video <laughs> and it's actually pretty cool because it does that and the quality is not that bad either at least from what I've seen um, so far that's why I'm trying to do this to see the quality of uh, real real life gaming scenarios here there you go die you stupid asshole of a uh, infiltrator I don't like them I generally don't like them okay I am going to do a little let's see turret, turret mic mark 4 I'm gonna do a little. There we go. Killed the stupid ass turret, and then I am going to be a little smart here by doing that. And I see that another person has thought about that. <laughs> Looks like nobody was killed. Where is he? Okay, he's behind me. I was like, what the hell? So yeah, it, this program has a very very high potential for particular uses. For montage purposes, if you need to gather a lot of content for them to edit with uh, editing software or or if let's say your uh, let's player which records everything in the game without editing and stuff like that then you could pretty much use this and not have to waste hours upon hours of dead time of processing the video you need to post on YouTube so the pot the potential is humongous you 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 don't, you don't have to waste time anymore if you're a let's player if you do let's play videos and stuff like that it's perfect if you're a montage guy it's incredible if if the quality of the video is good well you can actually set the bitrate of the video if you want to it's uh, it's a general setting when you put it to render you can set the bitrate between I don't know, 5, 3 megabytes or megabits actually, megabits a second up to 25 megabits a second and yeah it's pretty good and this I think has been it, I hope I have told you everything that was important about the program in this little video, this is just one match, I did pretty well in my opinion uh, not that much XP, I don't know why, but in the last uh, few hours I've gained quite uh, quite less XP than I usually do for some reason. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. <coughs> thank you very much for watching me showcase this little piece of miracle software that we have here. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Even if the quality is low, I am still going to post this video on YouTube because it has a very high potential. If they can, if the quality is not good, they can still somehow manage to, I don't know, make it better somehow. And yeah, hopefully it it is actually good. I don't, okay, enough about me rambling. 
if you really want to see how the program works you can download it yourself from um, I'm gonna put a well, link in the description I cannot remember that company name for shit so there you go link it is in the description you can check the program at, out with a trial uh, sadly it has a watermark on it if you try to render videos with it so yeah that's about it thank you very much for watching my showcase showcase and I'll see you later with hopefully later when I am not so sick bye